God damn. Holy shit. The hills are aligned with the sound of music. What? You're supposed to go. You're fucking up, man. I don't know the words, bro. Man, you haven't watched The Sound of Music? I don't know what that is. It's a classic, man. It's a classic. Yeah, man, educate this man The Sound of Music. It's well, a classic, man. While you guys do that, we're going to review Brock Hampton's new track, Tonya, by watching and reviewing a TV debut on Jimmy Fallon. All right, so this is what Tonya means, apparently. Mm -hmm. My life is I, Tonya. In 1991, talented figure skater Tonya Harding becomes the first American woman to complete a triple axel during her competition. Mm -hmm. In 94, her world comes crashing down when her ex-husband conspires to injure Nancy Kerrigan, a fellow Olympic hopeful, in a poorly conceived attack that forces the young woman to withdraw from the national championship. Harding's life and legacy instantly becomes tarnished as she's forever associated with one of the most infamous scandals in sports history. The song is called Tonya because their legacy was tarnished forever due to the whole Amir situation. Mm -hmm. See, that actually means a lot because it's like to say the, the figure skater rep, the figure skater doing a move that no one really has seen being done like that before. So it's meant to show Brock Hampton coming in doing stuff that no one's ever heard before. So their legacy's begun. But then obviously the ice skater, the ice skater had someone had the the husband or whatever do it behind her back. So basically he like um, uh, the other skater hurt them so they were injured, but she didn't know about it. But because of what that guy did, her future was wrecked. It's a great metaphor. So it's amazing. So they basically so basically this is whole thing is about the Emir situation. And it's put so fucking well with that title by itself. So, so I, yeah. I mean, I look forward to whatever we're about to hear. Yeah. Thanks for explaining the context. Yeah, I think it's definitely good to know beforehand. Bareface. Because I'm Church, I've been in my feelings on that island in the dirt. I feel like brothers lie just so my feelings don't get hurt. I said I tried vacation, I tried to run away. I deleted Facebook, I trade fame any day for a quiet Texas place and a barbecue place. On ya, my life is I Tanya, big eye monster, only face to conquer. I hated songs about fame because they suffer nothing until the headlines came the first flight with Trump. Maybe it means nothing, but I have to say I think about you. To complain to some of that I've never been Too many times without my sister and my brother Dad or mother by my side with them spirit The reasons I'm so out of touch and I'll stop revealing Damn. But I'm not ashamed I'm not afraid of who I am Or how I trust my mental Yeah, it's not perfect But I guess that's just the life I'm into I fantasize about a time when everything was simple My shelter sheltered me from things I needed to commit to The way it stands to me I fit through my stock home and my friendships and family What's causing your time? What's the reason that you whine? What's in your wallet? Dead whites in mind So somewhere in this light alarm Daddy says study hard to get that cash I still get the roach and I still see roaches at the crib Where my folks said touch your drinks before you touch me and provoke a man Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna mm. tell you I've been like I don't matter How are you still? I don't matter 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 God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, why are you gonna end it with that fucking shit? 
Oh, man. That was powerful. Jesus. That was powerful. That's one of their best songs, man. It's one of the most vulnerable. And they've never made a track. You know what? As bad as is everything that's happened, like this might be... A blessing in disguise. Yeah, because I feel like Puppy was just going to be another sa more another, sa another saturation, but yeah. I feel like now cool. we're going to get some real fucking heartache and hurt from them all. And, and uh, it's like... It's not every line isn't about the situation, but no, they're no, no. using their own stories to reflect on the situation. Mm. I'm a, there you go, go, Before go I even ahead. look at the lyrics, let me just break it down. Just if you look at how they're even positioned, like they they look very dejected yeah. and just like it's probably their first live performance since having a mere kicked out. Yeah, man. And they cancel their show. Obviously, it's on now. Like they've re they've re got their show back and going, but like. They really had to just take a lot of time off and just really just plan and just be like, look, this is happening. We've addressed this, but what do we fucking do from here? How do we keep building what we've already built without destroying it? I feel like in a way, like they're, I don't know, like it's going to be really interesting to see what they're doing, but this is a really beautiful track. And I think they've handled this in a, a really mature and beautiful way. And obviously we don't know everything that happened behind the scenes, but we're not meant to. Mm. We'll hear, we'll hear we'll what hear they, in the music exactly, they'll hear what they want to let us know on the music. And as for now, I think, like, I would actually love to, over time, see what Amir has to say on this. But for now, I don't mind. If they're making music as good as this, then fucking get on And a it. huge, like, um, the intro was great with Bareface. I love how they oh, they used him for the first verse. They need to use him more, in my opinion. But then the chorus for Jasmine Sullivan, Serpent with Feet, and Ryan Beatty was a, a, a beautiful oh, addition. That's it was. Jasmine Sullivan. Fuck, yeah. she's so good. Damn, man. That guy in the end was a real good voice, too. Yeah, beautiful. Man. Powerful, powerful track. What an, what an absolute fucking... I'm going to um, just say some interesting lines. You know, mm. uh, Kevin, this is, I've been in my feelings on an island in the dirt. I feel like brothers lie just so my feelings don't get hurt. Mm. So obviously a, a reference Amir. to me lying. Yeah. I just imagine them having a conversation, man. And then Kevin just be like, so all this shit you said, that was a lie? He's like, nah, man. But what do you mean, nah, man? Like, nah, you, like all this shit you just told me then is different than this shit you told me here. Like, tell me straight up, man. I reckon he would have been, I reckon he just would have been caught out, maybe caught out with something. And he, and Amir would have had to be finally just be like, fuck. And this is interesting. This is Jobra and Jasmine Sullivan. I have to say, I think about you often, and if you want no part with me, I'll walk away. I know that I've wronged you, and maybe it means nothing, but I have to say, I think about you often, but it repeats. And I think that that's probably relevant to all relationships these guys have had and Job mm. has had in their life. Mm. Um, and Dom McLennan's verse was fantastic. Dom's was one of my favorite. He that went in a highlight. very self reflective as well. Like. Mm. Even Merlin Woods was really good. Like, the way he built it up and built his emotion. Like, and the way he ended it, too. Yeah, because normally with Merlin, like, you kind of get that sort of that, that sort of fun kookiness to it. But this one was, like, straight emotion from him. But it still had his unique voice. Yeah, exactly. Like, really well built up. Fuck, man. I'm blown away. I was fucking amazing. That's going to be really excited, man. Well, this the fact that they also changed the, um, the title of the album as well. Yeah, and it's not Capitals. If you notice, no, because Puppy not. was going to be capital, so maybe they were going to keep the uh, the whole saturation theme, but like they can't. Saturation doesn't exist anymore because that was with Amir. Yeah, I think they've they've got. I think they're just reshaping who they are and their sound entirely. Because it makes sense. Because doing it without Amir is like, it's kind of weird in a way. Because he he like he helped them make what Brockhampton was. And and Merlin finishes with the line. Somebody he yells this. Somebody going to have to tell the truth. I'm going to tell it. Mm. I feel like that's. Probably like it's tough. Some members want to express what actually happened. Some members want to keep it quiet. Mm. I think Amir, I mean, sorry, um, Merlin. Merlin might be echoing future or preluding future verses he's going to yeah. spit in the future. And I'm else to say, if you haven't checked this out, fucking do so. This is incredible. If you're a Brockhampton fan, mm. that's great. I can't wait for what they drop next, I'll man. Say, man. Uh, this is exciting. Big but, shout out to you guys for putting us on to Brockhampton early too. Yeah, thanks to you guys. Loving this shit. They're an amazing group and I hope they have massive longevity in the fucking music scene. Yeah, I We jungle beats. Will. We jungle beats. We jungle beats. We've got a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you guys stay tuned today so you guys know when we drop and everything. And we post little quirky things on there from time to time too. So much love. Mm.
I'ma go in the Stella. I feel like Matthew McConaughey. I don't care for what they gotta say. Tony Perkins, how I dropped away. Jason Bourne with the headshot. Jason Statham with the whip game. 